Welcome back to my channel ladies. Today it's going to be a video for ladies and um, I'm making something very special because someone actually, one of you asked me to do it and we're going to talk about how to wear elegant uh, hijab and I hope I'm, going, I'm saying this correct. Um, and yes, I, myself, I don't wear hijab, but um, because one of you asked me and I feel like being elegant lady, you can be from any religion, you can be from any culture, you can be any skin color. So I feel like it's going to be actually good for us to um, discover something new. And it is new for me as well, because um, in my culture, we don't really cover hair. But um, I, feel it's, I feel like it's going to be really, really interesting to talk about this. So I'm just uh, giving you context here because obviously I don't wear it. I'm not a specialist here. I'm just um, trying to help you by finding some kind of beautiful outfits that um, maybe you can get inspired by. So let's just jump to the subject. So hijab you can see in many countries when you actually travel. Let's say you travel, uh, you're going to some kind of Arabic country. You can see most of the women, Muslim women wearing hijab. And um, for me, when I, let's say, went to um, Egypt or if we went to Dubai, um, it was quite natural, you know, we didn't feel like it's something different. We just respect the culture and I feel like that's really the best what you can do when you're going to someone's um, to different country and you, you are there a guest, you are there a tourist. The only thing you, can, you should really do is respect someone's culture and accept it, you know. If it's something that is really, really bad and obviously you don't need to do it but if it's something natural for a woman then um, i feel like um, there's nothing bad about this because i know that some people people who don't know really they can be a little bit maybe scared of it or they can feel that um, women they are forced to do it but there is not a case like this this is just a woman's choice so if they want to um, they feel like they're covering themselves they respect themselves a little bit more and I think it's just a um, type of modesty so they just cover the hair as well because they want to be modest so there's nothing wrong about that and I feel like um, you know if you feel like that's something you can do it's absolutely fine and it's um, it just it just should be your option you know this should be something that you make decision that that's just you doing this because that's right for you and that's it you know if if you feel like that then just do it and there's still you can still look absolutely stunning you can still look absolutely beautiful wearing hijab after said that because i know people sometimes might think that why am i talking about this because i don't really wear it you know i'm not an expert here but i just really want to talk about different cultures and I feel like we need to embrace a little bit more um, different type of fashions because you know we we base all of us all over the world so it's interesting to actually talk about those kind of things and it's interesting to know, know another lady's uh, culture so if you meet someone maybe in the future who is from different culture you will have some kind of um, subject to talk as well because you can always go deeper about anything really so I hope this um, you're going to enjoy this video. So let's just start with saying that if you want to be feminine and wear hijab, then I feel like you should go for those kind of bright colors, maybe pink. Pink obviously is going to be the most feminine. Um, some kind of pastel colors. And it's going to be really, really nice to basically wear it with, um, let's say your hijab is pink and your outfit is pink, so it's all monochromic, or you have a white hijab and then um, everything else is pink. So it's just those kind of very feminine, very soft, colors and they it just looks absolutely gorgeous even if when you're going to work as well you can wear white suit and I have a picture here and the girl she's wearing and um, this kind of beige hijab and I feel like she just looks stunning here she's looking very businesswoman like and um, this hijab is just adding to her as well this kind of um, femininity as well so it's it looks really really well together so with those feminine colors, you need to remember that they're going to uh, give you this kind of softness. They're going to give you this kind of very like a gentle look. Hey, hey, don't get upset. Um. <laughs> So yeah, those soft colors, ladies, they're going to be uh, very feminine, they're going to be very positive, very gentle. So they're going to already create this kind of uh, uh, aura of you being this kind of gentle and delicate woman, which is really, really beautiful. And 
um, you know that's what most of the ladies uh, looking for for this kind of gentle um, vibe gentle touch to them so I feel like wearing hijab in uh, this kind of gentle and like soft pink or white or beige colors um, ma mixing with your uh, pastel outfits is really really gorgeous idea and it's not only pink it's also blue it's also green it's also a uh, gray even gray it's uh, classified classified to those kind of pastel colors so if you want to be a little bit more like um, not too feminine but have this kind of uh, gentleness to you still then um, gray is absolutely gorgeous and you can obviously wear some kind of gray a dress, white maybe, even like um, leggings and your gray um, hijab uh, on top of that. So it's it's really gorgeous combination of colors. As well, beautiful combination is pink with blue. So those are like, um, you are not so feminine because pink is more feminine than blue. You're still feminine, but um, there is kind of combination of like very interesting combination that you are very pastel-y but um, something interesting going on like I have this picture here lady she's wearing blue outfit basically and on top of that she has this kind of pink like uh, I would say very like thin um, I don't know how would you how would you call something like this but very thin like a coat let's say and on top of that she has this kind of beautiful white um, um, hijab and I feel like it, it is a really really beautiful outfit it's something that uh, if you walk on the street in this kind of outfit you're going to be visible you're going to be um, people going to notice you and um, but not in a bad way it's, it's in a good way and still a very very like respectful way if you want to be very very chic I think it's really lovely when you actually wear your hijab with everything with your outfit in the same color so it's the same shade and um, so let's say everything is white or everything is beige or everything is blue it's just um, this is this kind of very like a, um, even when you don't wear hijab but when you wear those kind of solid um, colors and you commit to one color only it is very very um, beautiful way to look to look expensive and look very uh, polished very like uh, chic so I feel like um, if you have this kind of possibility to, to wear everything in the same color then just do it because it's really really a um, great idea as well when it comes to those uh, classic uh, colors as well beige is absolutely beautiful you can go for different shades beige is a very very elegant uh, and classic color as well so outfits in um, this kind of, this kind of color look really really polished really really uh, expensive again and this is this kind of color that is very neutral so you not if you're not fan of pinks then beige is absolutely fine because it's just replacing i would say um it is in this kind of shades on those kind of tones of pink but beige have this kind of like a rich nature and it's really really stunning color so don't be scared of wearing beige as well especially beige with white those two just works really really well together and beige is very very like classic color for everyone when it comes to those darker colors like black you can still wear all black it's just going to be um i think like it's more like it, it's more suitable for evening but that's just because it's um you know all very very dark you know but um it's still perfect to work I would say dark colors are perfect to work or you can mix them like with more brighter colors let's say you will have some kind of black leggings and on top of that you will have some kind of beautiful um, like a tunic or like a longer top or shorter dress and um, some kind of brighter um, color uh, garment on top of that so there are ways to work with black colors obviously if you wear everything in black it's just going to be quite a dark um, vibe to it you know but i think it's as well in a um, muslim world i would say whatever we, i was going there was a lot of ladies who were wearing black like <laughs> please stop it for a second there was a lot of ladies who were wearing like black outfits like to the ground so this kind of like a big uh, i think burqa is called it and uh, obviously that's just cover everything but if you want to add a little bit more chic so i think like you could wear a nice you could wear a nice skirt with nice black top obviously black bag so everything could really work very very well um 
and gives you a little bit more shape as well. You are not, um, you know, burkas just like cover everything and don't give you anything much. It's very modest, I would say. Um, outfit but if you can play a little bit around it then i would say um those kind of like a skirt longer skirts or even like a dark suit those are really gorgeous as well for the evening i would say the darker color like red and um, dark um like a violet dark like a burgundy and um, those are really nice as well for the evening like evening dresses so um and there are strong colors but obviously um you're not going to wear them very like um, like sexy way you're not going to wear them like super squeezing you are everywhere you're just going to wear them more loose so at least that's more like uh, I think that's the idea of the culture as well that it's a little bit more modest right but I saw as well a lot of like sexy outfits which we're going to talk about them as well but um, overall for the evening I feel like those darker uh, tones of um, like burgundy like color of the wine those are really really beautiful I feel like you can always uh, wear your hijab with this kind of more flamboyant vibe to it so it's going to be more like designer uh, thing there's going to be more colors going on it's going to be more stronger colors not necessarily uh, light colors but also a uh, darker colors um, or some kind of red uh, hijab and then a dress with this kind of red belt I have a picture here it looks really gorgeous and this kind of flamboyant <laughs> vibe to it of flamboyant way as well you can wear like a, a lighter color but add a little bit more color to your uh, let's say your outfit is white but then you add color to your um, hijab so that's that's just really nice as well or everything like obviously um, on the bottom more flamboyant let's say very low uh, white trousers some kind of top that something is going on and then maybe more like neutral uh, uh, hijab it's going to be um, really really nice as well so overall if you want to be more flamboyant you can just choose more like stronger and more interesting design on dresses on your tops even on your trousers and um, even on your hijab it's just going to like create this kind of more like i think um interesting and more creative look which is really really gorgeous as well and a way what i was actually when i was doing my research i noticed that it's really actually nice when you're wearing your hijab in a color of your skin so you have some kind of um whatever outfit you really wear and then you're just trying to match the hijab to your skin i i find it that it looks really really uh, neat and it really really this kind of like everything is look clean do you know what i mean like this kind of clean aura around you so um obviously you need to match uh, the scarf with or the veil with um, your skin color so it can be a little bit tricky but i feel like it really really um add to you this kind of um it just works everything works really, really really well and it can be outfit with let's say blue dress and then a scarf with color of your uh, skin or some kind of um, even like a stronger colors outfit and then you just uh, match um, again you match your hijab with your skin color what I noticed as well that ladies when they're wearing jeans and uh, they're wearing those kind of like a longer tops or um those kind of longer and again you see i'm, I'm missing here a word um i don't know how you like cover-ups with jeans they work really really wear, well and with hijab they um just just works well together for me especially that um if i wouldn't if if let's say i would try to wear something like this without hijab i think it wouldn't have the same kind of um the same kind of um, look it wouldn't be so stunning but when you're actually wearing hijab with those um, cover-ups and the jeans it just works everything works well together and it's create this kind of complete um, look and as I said I saw some outfits that they were a little bit more sexy so if you want to mix be modest and still sexy then you can do that by obviously choosing a little bit more um, those kind of dresses that they going to squeeze you a little bit more in the right places obviously um, which is possible I have a picture here the lady she is cover and um, she has on top of that some kind of coat I think and she is wearing this kind of more um, stretchy dress and it gives her a little bit more sexy look on top of that those kind of shoes they are a little bit more sexy side I would say as well so overall ladies I want to just say that um, again I'm not an expert I'm just trying to find some kind of outfits that you would enjoy 
and I feel like wearing hijab and um, it's it's not difficult actually it, it 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 is something like an extension of your outfit I would say obviously because you're wearing a scarf um, but it's it, you can still look really really gorgeous and it's just embracing your culture as well and embracing <laughs> who you are basically and your values your kind of values and your um, religion in this situation as well so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave it a thumbs up and uh, I hope I gave you some kind of insight about this. I feel like it was really interesting to look for those kind of outfits and it was very interesting to actually um, discover it because I never really put uh, any interest in this but um, you asked me to do it and I feel like it was really, really great idea and thank you for that. And I hope um, any other ladies who don't even wear hijab, they uh, will find something for themselves in this video as well. And again, I just want to say that we need to respect all cultures, we need to respect all uh, religions and um, if someone believes something different than us, it doesn't really matter because the, there's enough space and enough uh, place in this world for everyone with every belief really. So um, the most important is I think they're res respecting each other, you know. But overall, I want to as well say that um, if you have any other ideas with this kind of different maybe cultures, how to look elegant, how to look chic and like a lady like, then uh, please leave me a comment as well because I would love to do more videos about those kind of um, different cultures. So